In this video, I will be showing you how to create a auto completion box for text fields in JavaFX using Controls FX. The first thing you want to do is go to Control FX's GitHub page. I'll have a link to this in the description. From here, you scroll down, you see this README section. You're going to want to click on this link right here. This link will take you to a new page, which will prompt you with a download. You're going to click on this download button, click on JAR right here, It'll then show up in the bottom corner. And I've already done that, so I'm just going to go over to Eclipse right now. From Eclipse, you need to make a new library. And the best way to do this is by going over to the project you have, going to Build Path, and then Configure Build Path, Module Path, and Add Library, User Library, User Libraries, and then click on New. From this new section, you will name the library. We'll name it Controls FX. From here, you're going to want to click on it, Add External Jars. Here you see the new jar that you just installed. You're going to click on that, click on Open. I've already done that, so I won't do that right now. But then you will click Apply and Close. Before I do that, I will remove this because I don't need it. Click on Apply and Close, and then click on the library you want. And I already have the one I want, but I'm going to click on it until it's this one. Click on Finish. And then after that, you'll just click Apply and Close, and you should see the name of it in your module path. From here, we're going to then look at our FXML page. You're going to open that in Seed Builder, whatever you want. You're going to first just make a text field. It doesn't matter where, what size, or anything about it. You just want a text field and put it somewhere. So with this text field, you are then going to give it an ID. I chose to put it as input, but you can make it whatever you want. And then you're just going to go back, save it, and go back to your Eclipse. And in Eclipse, you're going to go to the main. You have to change the main a little bit. So similar to when you want to run a run a function in a different scene or a different controller before switching to that controller because we're going to want to run this startup or then we're just going to change the loader we're going to separate the loader so we're just going to define it first so we're going to load the fxml then we're going to use that to load the pane we're going to get the scene get the css then we're going to get the controller of the controller scene we're using. We're going to use the name of it, controller, loader.getController. We're then going to run a function right here, which is this one right here. So we're going to go into the controller. We're going to define our text field. I already defined the pane as well, but you don't need to do that. So you're first just going to define it at the top. Then in this startup function, you're going to make a list of all the words you want for an array. And so right here, I have all these useful words that are always typed. And then you're going to go down. And you're first going to type text fields. After you type text fields, it should prompt you with importing this right here. If it doesn't, just type this out at the top. And it should import it from the new library you just have. But you will put this dot find auto completion with the ID as well as all the words you want. And before you actually run this, you're going to want to go click on the drop down and run configurations because we need to add something to arguments in the VM argument. And I'll have this line in the description, but it simply just makes it work. I'm not really sure why, but you need this in order to work. And so you go click on run. You see our text field, our typing, and all the drop downs appear. Very nice and simple. And now, if you want any more information on this, you can go to the Javadocs page. I'll also have a link to this in the description where you can read all about different attributes of the auto completion binding class. That is all for this video.